Lord's Day again? Already? Yes, it is. I wonder if I could just stretch this out a little bit. I could, you know, I no, probably could get like two or three more days out of it. Now you just tripping. Let me just, I might could just, maybe I could just refresh it a little bit. You cannot refresh that mess. You know, I probably can get, you know, look, half up, half down. Um, nah, sis. Mm -mm. You know, maybe I could just, you know, curl the ends a little bit. We can, I mean, you know, I could just. Who you know walk around with their hair looking like that? You know that ponytail always works. <laughs> you trying to stay a small YouTuber. You ain't saying nothing. And then, look. Put, what? Hey, y'all. Nah, bruh. Nah. All right. What if, what if I just did? I could do. Uh, I could do a. See if I could. A bundle. Right? Twist it. You don't want no more followers. Woo! Yes. <laughs> That's so. That's cute. That's cute. How, Sway? I mean, dang. What products am I going to use? Girl, you got like 10,000 products. Try something new. Well, I mean, you know, Camille Rose worked for me last time. I mean, you know. It's... Girl, if you don't grab them Camille Rose, Rose products and go on and get that hair done. The Curl Love Moisture Milk and the Curl Maker really helped me with that twist out. Maybe I should do Please another twist out. do something beside a twist out. You're right. Maybe I should go ahead and try. Thank you. Hi, I'm Healy Means. Welcome and welcome back to my channel where we judge products, not people. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, welcome to today's video where I am going to continue on with the Camille Rose collection. I'm going to use all of the products that I used in my previous video, but I thought I heard somebody say, use a new product and instead of doing a twist out, we are gonna try a braid out. I'm ready. Are you? I just had to come back right quick, y'all. I put my fingers through my hair because I thought I was going to start shampooing with the Camille Rose um, Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. And y'all, my hair was like, uh-uh, we need to do something beforehand. I went ahead and I pulled out my Just For Me Curl Piece pre-shampoo. Or I tried this a couple times before. I already did a video on it, so go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen it already. This is what it looks like. It is very loose and liquidy, very slimy. You can actually apply this to dry hair. But I said that if I ever tried this again, I was going to spray my hair with water first and then try it. So that's what I did. I didn't drench my hair. I just put a little bit of, um, just a little bit of water, sprayed it. And then apply this. I'm letting it sit for about 10 minutes before I actually comb through. But after I get this pre-poo situation done, then I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair, condition it, do the deep conditioner treatment, do the curl love, moisture milk, and then I'll come back with my surprise new Camille Rose Naturals ingredient that I'm going to use for a plait out. We ain't going to say braid out because I can't braid. I can plait though. And then we'll get it moving. I'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I have the Curl Love Moisture Milk in my hair. It has been in my hair for maybe 20 to 30 minutes underneath this shower cap. So now let's go ahead and add our new styler for today. It is from the Camille Rose Naturals Collection and it is the Camille Rose Naturals Almond Jai Twisting Butter. Y'all was like, please try a new styling product. 
but please do something beside a twist out. So I'm going to go ahead and I know they call it braid out, but for me, it's going to be a plait out. I know y'all already know about this, but I don't. So it's new to me. The directions say apply butter to dry or wet hair and twist. We're going to plait. Can also be used on wash and go styles for extra moisture and elongation. So this is my first time using it. Let me take this off. Oh, this smells good. It smells like cake. Like cake with icing. Almost like the Curl Love Moisture Milk, but not as strong. This is my first time opening a jar. So this is how much is in it. The consistency is kind of creamy. It's not as like thick buttery as what I thought. So I think this is going to go well as far as me being able to work it into my hair. Let's get this plait out started. All right. And let me see. Oh, y'all, I do. I had a line across my forehead. <laughs> That's all right, though, y'all. We're going to work with it. So I put the Curl of Moisture Milk in my hair, and I just kind of did it in sections. I have my part already, and I kind of section my hair a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to start with this. I'm going to add some water as I need it. I'm going to start with about this much. I have no idea if it's too much or not enough, but we're going to see. Rub it between my fingers a little bit before I apply. This goes on very smooth. I think I'm going to put just a little bit more as I work my way to my ends. Let me comb it through. And I don't, I have, my hair is parted, but it's not like 100% specifically parted. So I want to be careful that I'm not pulling hair from other sections. And we just going to plait. And with this at the end, because this is so thin, I'm just going to go into a twist. Once I get to the bottom, I'm going to put a flexi rod at the end because doing the twirl thing, that doesn't, it doesn't make my ends curl up. And using these flexi rods right now is going to help my hair not to come undone while I'm doing the rest of it. I don't plan on doing a lot of plaits. I kind of have my hair sectioned out already. How I'm going to do it. It is definitely is not going to be a lot. Because I just I don't feel like doing all of that. So like I said, I'm going to wet my hair as I feel like I need to. I am going to apply. The almond jar twisting butter down my strands. I'm going to comb it through. And then plait.
recommendation was for me to take some of the curl maker and just rub it on the outside of the plaits maybe to give them some hold or help with the definition so let's do that this is two pumps total all right now that that's done i'm gonna go ahead and roll these back on the flexi rods i'm gonna air dry as long as i can i'll get under the dryer and hopefully before next year i'll be back with some dry results i feel like i put too much product in i think i put too much curl love moisture milk i think i put too much of the almond jive but once i got started y'all that was it i had to finish it please 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 let my hair dry with no flakes All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. It is two days later and I sat under the dryer for about maybe like an hour and a half. That same day I did my hair. The rest of the day and the night was air dry. All of yesterday was air dry. And now we're about to take this bonnet off and see what we're working with. So let me go ahead and take this off. Let me see. Do I have the, I think I might have something. I did put in these flexi rods. So let's, <laughs> really y'all? <laughs> All right. I hope my hair is dry. I'm pretty sure it is going to be moisturized because, like I said in the first clips, I think I put like too much product in. My hair does not feel like dried out. It is dry. It feels 100% dry all the way around. It does feel moisturized. I don't see. I don't, I don't know. I can't tell. Do y'all see any flakes? I hope not. I'm going to make this part quick. So let me just go ahead and unplat because we, we did a plat out. So let me go ahead and unplat this and let's see what we're working with. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how my hair looks with all of the plaits taken out. I would say for me, the next time I do this, I will have to do larger plaits. My hair is thinner at the bottom than it is at the top. And thank goodness for the Almond Jai Twisting Butter and the Curl Love Moisture Milk, which made it easier to undo especially the bottoms of the plaits but i just i have to do larger larger plaits let me separate a little bit and do a little fluff with my pick <laughs> and let's see what we look like at the end
right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final look. Let me know what you think. I use the Camille Rose Naturals kind of like original formula, the pink label products. I would say I do have um, a very soft hold. My hair is super duper moisturized. I don't think I would have to add any moisture product, any kind of anything until I wash this out. So far, the last couple products that I have used have resulted in this kind of light, bouncy, flowy style. This is a plait out as compared to previous twist outs. What I'll say about this style for a plait out is that I have to do larger plaits. Um, it was just too much when I got down to the ends, which are very thin. It was difficult trying to unplat and untwist the bottom part of the plait because for some of the plaits at the bottom i went ahead and twisted and it was just so small and so thin i am going to start using more of my ayurvedic mask and my dry mix recipes i did a couple videos on those they should be at least one or two of them should be up by now and then I have another one coming up soon if not already so check those out. I'm going to be using those mixes on a more regular basis and I'm also going to be trying just a couple of different things. I'm going to you know go into my DIY closet you know and pull some things out and try those in addition to still reviewing some of the products that I have on my hair product shelf. Let me know do you think I look better with the plaid out or with the twist outs from my previous videos. Do they look the same? I mean, do they really come out looking the same? That's all I have for this video. Remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, share with everybody you know. Click the notifications bell. Be safe, be well, and be blessed. Until next time.